just say, let's just say, you know, okay, well, let's say you're Donald Trump or something like that. Here I am giving my valuable insight as The Bachelor continues. How much like Hitler be more like Mussolini, you know? Or Bush, right? Mussolini or Bush. Take it down a notch, right? I feel like Dan is abandoning, uh, is that guy named Dan? The Canadian dude is abandoning his friend right now. He's not trying to be associated with this motherfucker anymore. Sweet potato eating motherfuckers. What did Drake post? Uh, Tweet whatever he said about that. Chad. Chad is a heel. If anyone watches wrestling, Chad is a necessary evil. He's also the only one keeping it really real, so I kind of respect Chad on a real level, but, uh, you know. This is James Taylor. I think he's incredibly corny. And I still can't believe that I'm the one that call. You know, I just still can't believe it. I, I don't know how the show works. This is my first time watching The Bachelorette, but I'm gonna assume that this is the sort of guy who does well in the beginning. Uh, excuse me. Does well in the beginning, but then like, you know, it comes to her senses and she's like, well, you're kind of singing all the time and you're kind of corny and you're definitely not better looking than anyone except that Evan creep. So like. Amazing man. I think he's corny as fuck, but that's why I'm not on this show Let's see Evan is sketchy. Evan's a little bit creepy Go hang out with your family <laughs> My brother is mad cuz he did a, a Shout out to my brother All right. uh, So yeah I don't know who you guys are pulling for. Who you, I, I don't really have someone who I'm pulling for, but I do know who. I do feel like I know who's gonna win. Um, but yeah, sorry if the chat's annoying, you guys. I have fast forward a lot of time. The erectile doctor is not gonna win. I could say I could say that. I feel like that's pretty firm. Who's gonna win? Uh, I, I think I think right now. Uh, Luke is a front runner. He's been pretty low key the last episode and a half, but he had a strong start, and he doesn't need to kill it every episode. You know, ABC wants you to naturally arrive to him as the conclusion, and if the, if he's in your face all the time during these fucking stupid weeks, he's not going to be your favorite. So they're going to slowly integrate him as they move away. Because there's a lot of bullshit people still here, like that dude with the big ass chin. Like he's not making it. You got a big ass chin. You look like Squidward. You're not going to be. Between Periscope, I'm on Periscope. If you give me a phone call while I'm on Periscope, you ruin the stream, and now and now everything went down. Wow. Honestly, blame blame Daniel Markowitz for killing this Periscope, which was which was which was rocking. It had over two thousand people, and now it's got no one because you called me in the middle of Periscope. I'm heated. You know, meet Mark, my best friend. He's a good-looking dude. Oh, he's jealous of Marcus. He wants Marcus. This is what I know. The good thing I really like about The Bachelorette is like, you don't have to really watch it. Like they're, they're having a conversation, the conversation doesn't really matter for anything. So like, I can talk, I can talk. you can listen to me talk while they're talking, their conversation doesn't matter. She's gonna be, she's gonna be like, oh, I love when you open up to me and you're so kind and you're so thoughtful and this date has been an amazing experience and ooh, I got a rose out of nowhere so I'm gonna go. She is, she is given roses to the two corniest dudes in the house right now. Um, but back to what I was saying. Luke, that guy in the beginning. The guy in the beginning, uh, who was the beginning of this episode? What's his name, Chase? I like Chase. I think he has a chance. But there's also like four dudes who look like Chase. I've never seen more white people look completely alike at one time. It's, it's it, on, on one television show. And I can say that because I look like them. They all look alike. Everyone on this show. Everyone on this show looks exactly the same. Oh, here he is again.
You suck. Boo! She crying? Yo. I gotta be real, guys. This is the best song I've ever heard. No. He's he's bad at guitar. The song is not beautiful, JoJo. It doesn't come He's like... He's like... He might as well just put a fucking SoundCloud link on his guitar. That's why this dude is here. He's not here for love. He doesn't know what love is like. Jojo, I feel like you've dated whack-ass people if this dude impresses you. I could drive a freestyle right now. Jojo, I want to see your ho-hos. Making out with this dude? That's a no-no. So, that was easy. I wasn't even thinking. That was just off the dome. Um, <laughs> cringe. Uh... Man, I would rather have 20 chads be on this show than this guy. He doesn't even know how to kiss. You don't know how to kiss, man. Ugh. I don't really like this. I don't really like this. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm going to do during commercial break. Ugh, commercial break. Okay, well, hold on. Oh, yes, I do have a brand new TV. Brand new TV. Yo, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Look, you guys can hate on my TV if you want. I've got, I've got a nicer TV in my bedroom. This is the living room TV. But don't hate on my TV just because I don't waste money. I'm practical. I've got a Jewish heritage. My family taught me to save this rap money. It's not going to last forever. I don't need to go wasting it on a new TV. So... You worry about your TV, I'll worry about my TV, okay? Anyway. Um, <laughs> this is very fun. Uh, what can we say? What can we say? How, how's everyone feeling about this episode? And Oh, stop by Webster Hall Wednesday for Bryce Vine show? I'll be there. I'll be there for sure. Um, you love Evan? Honestly, I don't love Evan. Yeah, this episode... I, I'm worried about continuing to like I've invested myself in this show and I'm worried about liking it for the long term when it stops getting funny because right now it's really funny and really cringy and I love that but then once it's all serious people and they're doing like real intimate dates and stuff I'm worried that the show is not going to appeal to me anymore um, what it has taught me though is that I should be the next Bachelor um, I think it's a great way to find love and that's what I'm going to do. No, I can't do that. But, yeah. Comments being very sus right now. I saw that. Um, how's album four coming? I don't think it's album four. Uh, your raps are way better than his corny song. It's true. James T is corny. If you if you think he's uh, he's a person with feelings, like if he was watching this stream, I would feel bad saying that. I'm sure he's a nice dude. I just don't think that he's deserving of JoJo's heart. I think he's leading with the music thing too much. Like if I was on this show, I wouldn't just be constantly rapping. That would be corny. People would be like, "Fuck that dude." Um, so I think she's. I think it's appealing to her right now because they're like. There are like eight dudes on this show who, who haven't even like, you haven't seen them like at all. And the reason is because they're super boring and they have nothing to offer. Sorry, like my man Ali, I thought Ali was going to be a champ. He is getting no screen time. Clearly Ali is not doing anything to, to deserve screen time. So like by comparison, James T looks like a pimp because he wrote a song and Ali just has great eyebrows, which I can relate to, but it's not going to win you her heart. You gotta have more than just eyebrows, okay? This is just what I'm saying. I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, let's see. Chad's arm. Look, anyone can have big arms who just work out all the time. It's, it's about what's inside of the arms. 
the bones. It's about the bones. Write that down. Um, this is so popular. I love Periscope. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with how this is going right now. Uh, Chase? Yeah. Who, 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 let, let's talk about who's our, who's our least favorite person at the moment. I, I would say Evan's my least favorite person. He just makes me feel uncomfortable. And uh, I'm surprised that his sperm has fertilized an egg three times. That's incredible to me. But, you know, a lot of people have... Have um, and I don't want to hate it. Oh, so it's either Chad or Evan. I mean, I, I see that. But let's think about someone else. Yeah, oh, Daniel's pretty whack. Daniel's pretty whack. He's from Canada. Shout out to Canada. But like, he's making you guys look bad. Like that first day where he got all naked and shit in the pool. Not a good look. I thought he would have never survived that, but he survived. Um, he says eh, so much. How about Jordan? Oh, Aaron Rodgers' brother Jordan. I think that's a dude who will make it very far, but he will definitely not win. They're gonna, they're definitely like gonna uncover his true motivations, and he's just not gonna, he's just not gonna stand up in comparison to some other people. It's clearly Luke who's gonna be one of the. I can tell you he's gonna be one of the final two people. I mean, write it down right now. I'm not saying I can guarantee a win because I don't know this girl that well, but I do know that Luke will be in the final two. My boy Alex, I would love to say that he's gonna be in the finals, but I think, I think he's, I think she's gonna hate on his height and use it as other ways. But let's. It's on. It's on rose ceremony. There's obviously a lot of. I forgot about this dude, Jim Halpert, motherfucker. <laughs> like who's that guy on the left? Like, get out of the show. Wells, I thought Wells was alright, but he's he's just a filler filler character here. Like, who is that guy? Who are you? See, I thought I thought Wells was a sleeper too, but I think honestly Wells is. I can't see him at making it to the end. I just can't see it. Someone says, what's going on here? Uh, if you're joining this Periscope, it's just because I, I have amazing insight into The Bachelorette. So this is why you're watching on here. Thank you very much. All right. Like, I don't know who any of these people are. I've been watching the show. I do like Jim Halpert, though. I think he's got a chance. That guy with the bad... Flannel hoodie, you got no chance. Um, Nick B. Oh, Nick B, like, I think Nick B. He's gone for sure. Nick B, you're gone. Nick B needs to go. Nick B is interested in making friends here. Yo, if I was on The Bachelorette, I'm not trying to make seven friends. I'm trying to get a girl. I ain't trying to have seven friends. Jeez. Everyone in this house has this haircut, too. No, not you. That's my boy. That's some fucking host. Chad's so productive. So very, so very protective. Kind of worried about how protective he is. Every every single person in this house has the Jordan Rogers haircut, though. Jordan Rogers haircut, looking super strong right now. Evan is a little bitch. Would have never anticipated Evan having this. Show. What can he possibly do with some dice or something? I have no clue what's going on. Why E-Money pulled Chris's back. There's, uh... E-Money! <laughs> e and, um, I just felt like you should know about it. Uh, I have no idea what Evan running out after Chris was about. I wouldn't try to pass Evan and be somehow talking about it. I am alone right now, yeah. yeah. It was obsession. Uh... Grab my shirt. Back. Ripped it. Chad did. You snitch! He shot me. He punched the door. Bloody his knuckles. I mean, it's, there's security guards walking around the mansion now. Derek left the bedroom he was in because he didn't feel safe around him. Oh my god, yo, Chad. Chad is 
so fucking strong. What is the... He's a bro. He's a bro. Uh, Evan, you're a fucking snitch, bro. Tattletail ass motherfucker. It's gross. Gotta go cry to him. Flinch master. Now I want Chad to kick your ass. Let's go. Oh my god, stop being so concerned with this dude. You already got a rose. Insecure. That Vinny dude also, why are you? You are not. Also, Robbie, you gotta go. You just look like Jordan Rogers with a worse haircut. I mean, there are like four dudes who right now that are doing nothing for me. Underdog. Vinny is like every dude I've ever met in Queens. Get out of this show. Go. You're not gonna win. <laughs> I love, I love, like, I like Queens. I'm just saying, he's not special. He's not special. Okay. Um. Evan, Evan can strangle me though, low key. You guys are freaky. I like it. I got Chad claiming that he wasn't mad about the story, but he was mad that he that Evan tried to push him. Dude weighs like 160 pounds, you're like 240. You weren't mad about that, just be honest. I hate when people are deflecting and lying, like, I, of course I wasn't mad about what he said and he didn't embarrass me, but I was mad that like he wouldn't wait for me to like get out of the aisle before coming in. Like, come on, man, just be real, just be honest. Just be honest. Robbie, you should go home, so should you. Ugh. Where did Robbie come from? I don't even know. This is your chance to go, go settle. All right. Oh my God, they're making him apologize. Chris Hansen, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the host name is. I'm gonna call him Chris. He's like, go apologize, all right? Look how fucking, he's not trying to. He's not gonna apologize. This motherfucker is not apologizing. Oh, shout out to Ali's eyebrows, real quick. This is gonna be bad. Oh, don't give us to be continued. The drama continues on the Bachelorette tonight television. Are you fucking kidding me? I have to do another night of this? Why are all these people bleeding? Oh man. Hey, my say hi to Periscope real quick. Periscope? Periscope. Yeah. Anyway, I'm I, I've been live streaming The Bachelorette. It's been intense. <laughs> um, man. That is uh, I can't believe we have to do this tomorrow. Maybe I'll see you guys tomorrow for this. Um. We're losing followers really quickly, but uh, yeah, I was I was making music and then the Bachelor I came on. I'm gonna go back to writing some music. I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is getting riveting. I love you guys. This was fucking stupid. Bachelorette is life. Fuck every other show. And um, yeah, new album coming soon. Maybe I'll go on tour. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just become a professional Bachelorette commentator. I don't know. Talk to you later. I need a fart. Talk to you later. Bye.